Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your hands on this four-bedroom fully detached bungalow in the New Jerusalem City Estate Bicentenary. Now, if you recall, a while ago, I showed you this same four-bedroom full, fully detached bungalows at Winners Estate in Trasikulu Phase 6 extension, otherwise called New GRA. Yes, that estate has been around for a very long time. And lately, the success of the estate drove the, the estate developers, all right, drove them which is Iconet Cooperative to create the new Jerusalem City Estate by Art Centenary City in Now, here is the thing. This same new Jerusalem City Estate is just like an annex of the Winners Estate at New GRE. That's Transcircular Phase 6 extension, all right? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to you know, get your hands on these fully detached four-bedroom bungalow with five toilets, you know, in the city of Enugu State, either by outright or by mortgage payment. If you watch to the end of this video, I'm going to also show you the requirements for both civil servants and non-civil servants, how you can be able to take advantage of the National Housing Fund that is pay for this particular property with a, with just a 10 million naira down payment and you can spread your balance in 10 months. Are you excited? Also, my name is Jeff Anuzi and I am your favorite real estate consultant based right here in Enugu State, Nigeria. And my goal, my drive on this channel is to bring to you this kind of beautiful real estate deals happening right here in Enugu. You know, I have your back and so I want to make sure that you take advantage of some of these amazing opportunities and this today is one of it so if you're new on this channel please hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe so that you get to see this type of video updates from time to time so yes today we're going to be talking about the new jerusalem city estate at centenary city now i'm going to explain again that the new jerusalem city estate is an annex of the winners estate at particular phase six extension otherwise called new gra the same pattern of buildings the same housing environment if you missed out on this winners estate which is almost sold out winners estate is almost sold i think just one or two buildings remaining so if you missed out on this then you do not want to miss out on this new estate. Here's the good news. It's still new, it's still fresh. And so you have an opportunity to jump on this offer right now. This fully detached four bedroom bungalow comes with a COO, of course. The outright payment on this particular property is 28.8 million naira. So if you're paying outrightly 28.8 million naira, you get your keys immediately. Otherwise, if you're paying by mortgage, then you get to pay 32 million naira. I'm going to be showing you how you can qualify for the mortgage plan if that's what interests you. Otherwise, you go ahead and make the outright payment. I'm also going to be showing you the breakdown on requirements to be able to qualify for this mortgage. A couple of people that are non-civil servants, especially my clients in the diaspora, they've asked me for this and that is exactly why I am making this video. If you're excited already, please hit the like button. I will appreciate that and also subscribe if you are new. Now, here's the thing. There is an initial down payment of 10 million naira, okay? 10 million naira. Now, there are some other payments you ought to make, which I will try and explain that in this video. So the next kind of payment you're supposed to make is the National Housing Fund documentation fee. Now, the National Housing Fund documentation fee used to be 200,000 Naira, but it's currently 230,000 Naira. 
okay that's what this fee is about now in this fee eh, there are things like validation reports there are things like opening account with the federal mortgage bank right so you need to open an account with them you need to get the nhf application form which is about ten thousand naira. or so then your survey plan also is included in this fee um, so everything comes to like two hundred and thirty thousand naira. so that's item number two that's what i'm trying to explain here right now all right so next is the registration fee so to get the mortgage plan you ought to register and the registration is twenty thousand. this money is paid to i connect i connect is the parent company of this particular um, um estate so then number four you get to pay an annual nhf contribution you ought to be a contributor so that that one is thirty six thousand naira then perfection fee now perfection fee is four hundred thousand. what is perfection perfection is you know the estate currently is carrying or comes with a global CFO. so once you make payments for your own property the company immediately goes to lift your plot and if it's not ready yet they start building your property your needs now once you make this down payment they start building for you it takes six to eight months till your building is complete and so your keys are handed over to you so the perfection is them going to the ministry of lands and changing the documents to your name and registering it as your property all right next annual facility management fee which is about 160,000. i mean this is quite very explanatory um, you see how this estate is if you watch the video I did, you see that the estate is tired. There, 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 are, there are cleaning services happening in this estate daily, horticulture, security. There's heavy security in this estate. And so there will be two in this New Jerusalem City estate. If you watch that previous video I did, or if you watch the end of this video, you're going to see what the estate currently looks like as that this month of September 2021, as that when I was making this video. Okay, of course, there's serious massive war going on there. And so if you're watching this video later than September 2021, that means the, the, the constructions must have gone far. Okay, so all this put together comes to 10.846 million Naira. This is the down payment. This is the initial deposit. And haven't made this payment. The keys to your four bedroom bungalow is handed over to you. So you can decide to rent it out or leave it or edit it or do whatever you want to do with it. But you just get to spread your payments for the period of time you want to spread your payment. Here are the requirements. For those that have asked me, a couple of people have asked me, oh Jeff, if we're not civil servants, how can we take advantage of this mortgage payment plan? Now, the truth is, a while ago, um, the National Housing Fund was made open to other people in different sectors, both the private, the public sector, everywhere. You can literally take advantage of this. However, lots of people do not know that they can actually take advantage of this. So right here, these are the requirements to take advantage of this mortgage payment plan at this um, winner's estate extension, otherwise called the New Jerusalem City Estate at Centenary, okay? So number one, you need eight passport photographs, all right? Number two, you need 36,000 Naira. You know, this is the an annual NHF registration. This is your contribution to the NHF. You know, the whole idea of the NHF is, is crowdfunding. They pull funds together you know and execute on projects that's exactly what it is okay next you need your birth certificate or age declaration of course they don't accept baptismal cards so age declaration is preferable you can literally just go to any court or hire the services of a lawyer and it's prepared for you just swear you know you take it you do the on uh, affidavit thingy and then you get it within a, within a few hours okay next six months recent statement of bank account now this is this is the major major item here in my opinion because if for instance you live in the diaspora 
um, you need to have an account or you can present to us an account or to them the national housing fund you know scheme present to them an account that has been managed for six months you know the whole idea is just to be sure that you are capable of paying for those in the civil service they just ask them for their accounts their salary accounts so they just get to see the kind of money that comes in and, and be sure that they can make this payment all right so for you that is not a non-civil servant all they need is a six months recent statement of you know bank account they just want to see the cash flow okay so basically then number five driver's license or voter's id you know just a government approved um, id card that's basically what that is number six tax clearance for three recent years now for this one if you have if you run a company in nigeria you you definitely have this if you don't then contact me um, contact me and we'll discuss this either ways is not much of a problem like i said the only the major thing i see here is that six months uh, recent sequence of bank account that's the major thing then finally a utility bill just to verify that your address is your address that's physically it, all right so that is for you can see how simple this is right this is pretty easy okay so there's no more um, reason or excuse not to pay not to leverage on this mortgage you know payment plan you know or barely 3.2 million naira difference now here's the thing well i won't get paid much if you do the mortgage thing <laughs> i don't get paid uh, for your 10 minutes payment plan but i my goal is basically to get you the best of news okay like to help you make profitable and safe investments right here in Enugu and in the southeast generally nigeria at large okay that's my goal so as much as i won't make so much out of this but i feel like this is a good deal okay for 32 a million naira you can get your hands on this in 10 years you know with basically these things and the requirements you can see they are not that much of a big deal eight passports 36,000 naira annual contribution and age declaration then six months recent statement of bank account id card like a government approved id card task clearance which i said won't be so much of a big deal if you contact me about that then the recent utility bill and you know that's that for that so next this particular requirement are for those with the nhf number so those that are already civil servants here in nigeria okay this is these are the things you need you need a, a photocopy of your nhf passbook of course you're going to have that so just give us the bio data page and then next evidence of your contribution of course in the last six months you just need to show us your pay slip that's if it's not in your in your pay slip just show us evidence that you have also been contributing which they ought to be taking from your salary right let me know in the comments if you have an idea about this or if you're a civil servant and you know this for sure all right the next eight passport photographs all right which we need all right then of course again it, it bet certificate age declaration you know they want to be sure about your number of years in service so that we're also sure that you can pay off the money in 10 years all right then three months recent pay slip you see so this just shows what your pay slips look like you know so that we can know if you can afford this all right six months recent bank statement of your salary account driver's license just a national ID, tax clearance for three recent years of course this also should be shown in your pay slip because your tax is taken from source like as soon as your salary is paid they remove the tax from it. then recent utility bill so you can see how simple this is right it's pretty easy actually to take advantage of this and now you know so you now know that whether you have the NHF number or whether you're a civil servant or government worker or not, you can also take advantage of this amazing offer. I know you like me already, right? All right, so if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, share this video with as many people as possible so that they also are aware, all right, that they can take advantage of this. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe so that you know i'm happy that you're here and you can also see this type of videos 
as they come from time to time. Now, there are a few plots of land for sale at this particular estate. Okay, they go for 25,000 naira per square meter or 11.5 million naira per plot. plot. The plot size there is 460 square meters. So if you want this as well, so you want to build what you want, you know, you don't want restrictions, you don't want all of that, then yes, these, or you want to build the duplex because this estate is a bungalows, mainly bungalows estate. But you want to be to build a duplex, there's a segment that you can buy a piece of land and build your property okay, the, to the to the um, taste, to your taste. However, the outside have a sense of specific group with the ought to have, all right, so that there's some form of uniformity. Okay, so so, so, so this is just 11.5 million naira per plot. You can contact me for that as well there are not so many plots you need to contact me me on this number i am your favorite real estate consultant jeff anosik reach me out on 0809673768 and ask me all your questions my email address is also on your screen right now jeff at gmail.com and i will definitely get back to you i'm sure you enjoyed this video so at the end of this video i'll show you what the winner's estate looks like and then what the new Jerusalem city estate which is the winner's annex or winner's extension looks like as well thank you for watching i look forward to hearing from you leave in the comments if there's anything you don't understand or you can reach out to me on this contact and i'll definitely get back to you thank you for watching 